Um, yes, but as I say, I am not in a relationship, and so I sort of resort to what any uh, what any male does and does chores instead. Um, and I think the weirdest chore of all chore chore what's a chore? I don't know. Someone come up with a meaning for the word chore, please, and tell me. Um, but the weirdest chore of all is is laundry. I think, uh, and laundry starts off with racism. Because because you have to you have to segregate your colours, don't you? You've got to have your darks and your lights, and you have to fight Nelson Mandela's boxer shorts who keep trying to bring the two back together. Um, yes, but after after a little bit of sort of bigoty racism, you then get sort of Nazi racism because you can either have lights and you know your ultra white Aryan sheets, <laughs> or or you can sort of have a sort of we just light and dream. Um, yes. And, and then you've got, to, you've got to put them all in the machine, don't you? And you have to choose your, your, your powder or your detergent. And you've got names like Persil, Daz, and Kev, and other names from Birmingham. <laughs> and, and then you've got to choose what form you want. You can either have it uh, as a liquid, or a tablet, or a powder. And then you can either snort it, or inject it into your eye, or, or take the suppository. <laughs> Um, yes, and once you've done that, you've got to choose your spin cycle. And there's even more options with that. You've got things like um, uh, rapid spin, cotton wash, allergy care, where they add pyroton into the mix. <laughs> and um, and when, you, when you've decided, you just put the machine on, and it runs for millennia. And you've grown a beard by the time it's finished. Has this machine done yet? And you've got, you've got to go and do other things, so you've got to put the cat in front to supervise. Because if you don't, the washing machine just throw your laundry away. So you've just got the cat going like that. And sometimes the laundry can get past me. Where's the laundry? Where's the laundry? Come on! I don't know, I'm a cat. Mouse, please. Come on. Thanks. Don't know where that was going. Anyway, um, <laughs> yes, um, and of course, once once the uh, the laundry is finished and you've shaved off the beard, uh, you have got to take out the brick, don't you? Take out the brick of laundry, and you feel like God as you tear it apart and try to follow the microphone. Um, you've got to keep up with the mic. Uh, and yes, and then you've got to take it out of the line. You have to hang it up. And uh, you've got you've got a little mantra with that, don't you? Because you've got to hang the tops from the bottoms and the bottoms from the tops, and then you've got to hang the lefts from the rights and the rights from the lefts and the insides from outsides. And what on earth do you do with the bra? It's a, it's a genuine question, not not just part of the set. Um, yes, and and after you've hung it on the line, you you, you become a weather meerkat, don't you? Because you sort of just go. All right, really. Is that a cloud? <laughs> Is the sky darkening? Is rain falling? And then it will come, sort of rolling over like the apocalypse, which is why we put on the apocalypse voice to tell this part of the story. It will roll over and the sky shall darken, and the angel of death shall sweep the land, and it the watering can. Um, and it'll start to rain, and you've got to run out of the house, don't you? And I'm falling over a drum kit. Why, why is there a curtain over the drum kit? He's trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm not surprised if I was talking, I'd try to sleep. Um, but, um, yes, and, and it darkens, and the rain starts falling down, doesn't it? And you've got to run out of the house. And you, Get it off the line! Get it off the line! I don't care if you tear it, just get it down, get it into the air raid shelter! I'm sorry for yelling at you. Um, <laughs> and, and the fact you have to get it off the line and out of the rain is, it's a little known fact that laundry is kind of like the Wicked Witch of the West and melts if it gets wet. <laughs> yes, and uh, so once it's off the line you've got, you've got to iron it, don't you? You have to iron which is like bronze, but a little bit harder. <laughs> 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 and, and again, you've got another mantra with ironing, don't you? Because you do, you've got to do, you've got to do collar, then you do shoulder, and then you go to the back of the shoulder, and you do that shoulder, and, that, and then you go down, and back up the back, and down again, and then, and down that side, and then you go down one leg, and the other leg, and down another leg, and the other leg, and down the other leg, and then the other leg, you know, it depends what you're wearing. Um, <laughs> and yes, and then, of course, we do play a little game when we iron. It's called Being a Lazy Bastard. And uh, the game, the rules of the game are thus, you thus, it's a 
good word, thus. It makes you sound intelligent. Thus. Anyway, the rules of the game are thus, and uh, you've got to try to get as much ironing into a non-ironing pile uh, as you can. You know, sort of pants, socks, don't, don't need to worry about those, no one's actually going to see them. I'm only really going to wear that t-shirt indoors. Those, those trousers I'm not really going to do anything special in. I'm not trying to impress anyone at work so the suit can go in as well. And um, the, the idea is to try to get as much in the non-ironing pile as possible and not look like you've just stepped out of the airing cupboard. And that's a middle class thing, isn't it? The airing cupboard. We have, we have excess air. When, when we built the house we found we, ha we had too much air, you know. And, and so we built a cupboard to put it in. And that's the airing cupboard. And, and we were just thinking one day, what, what else could we do with it? And we thought, just put the laundry in there as well. It's a problem solved. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yes, uh, so, laundry. One sec, excuse me, one moment. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's, it's written on the hand. It's prepared. Preparedness. Learn, Adam. <laughs> I'm going to attach you to the microphone stand next time. Uh, <laughs> you're mutter enunciate. Let everybody hear. Enunciate. Well done. <laughs> Why are you doing that in front of you? Put a mic next to him. You're trying to say he's a wanker. Um, well, yeah. I'm, I'm, you're not. You're not. You're a nice person. Anyway. Uh,